Alrighty guys, this is Ellery here and I'm going to show you real quickly how to go ahead and use your Android phone to control anything in your house using a single tasker task along with a tasker JavaScript and auto voice. So first thing, you should have already downloaded auto voice. If you haven't, go ahead and pause the video and do that. You will need the pro version to do what I'm going to show you. And you also want to go ahead and download Tasker. And that costs money too, unfortunately. But so we're so for under, you know, twelve dollars or whatever the total is gonna be there, it's, you you have a pretty nice system, I think. So go ahead and start up auto voice. First thing up at the top you'll notice this Google Now integration. So you have to enable that the first time you use it. So right now I already have it enabled, so I'll kind of go you and sh show you where to enable that accessibility service. So you just go down to Android settings, accessibility, and while you're in there, go ahead and enable the tasker. See, I already have it enabled, but you just click on it and click on. Move the little slider over. So make sure you got both those enabled. So that's really all the auto voice. Oh, there's one more setting I like to do. I like to turn off all the toasts and logs. I mean, it'll, so you disable the logs, that button up in the corner. And it'll say you can toggle it that way. So we have logs disabled right now. I'm going to go ahead and go back and get out of there. So also turn off the toast, like this receive command toast. I think that's on by default. So I uncheck all those boxes and uncheck system logs. So that's really all the auto voice setup. So now we go into Tasker. So you go in Tasker and a couple preferences. I'll kind of show you. I have it out, out of beginner mode. So this is what my setup's looking like for all the settings. I think there is one thing under miscellaneous. Oh. You can probably just turn off the pop-up errors and warnings. We'll leave it on for now because I think Auto Voice is going to give us a warning. It's not an error. So if it gets it annoys you, just come back and turn that off after you verify everything works. And you're also going to enable this external access option there. So that's all that you have to do there. Now we just add a profile. So a tasker profile is like an event or a state cha change or something like that within your phone that'll go ahead and trigger what's called a tasker task. So the task will be what runs the JavaScript we discussed in video tutorial 7.2. And remember, if you don't have it yet, you do want to go download the zip file attached to the video description in video tutor how-to tutorial 7.1. And go ahead and grab the file. It's labeled, let me get you the name here, taskerurlfetch.js. So you'll go ahead and you'll take the to copy that onto your phone under the tasker folder. The tasker folder should be on your in, either under your internal storage, there'll be a folder called tasker, and just paste it in there. Be an easy way to get to it. So right now we're going to add the profile. Now it's going to be an event because we want it to happen right after we say something. Okay, we want to go to plug in and auto voice, auto voice recognized configuration. So the command filter, we want it just to do everything, like all. So you can leave it blank and it'll just figure that out. See now it says all right there toward the top. And that's really all you got to do for the event. So in this case, auto voice is being used in kind of a dumbed down fashion because it's obviously way more powerful than that. So do we click back to get out of there? We create the task and just na name it something, whatever you want. So we'll call it speech parser. 
And then we're going to hit the plus button at the bottom. And we're just going to filter. We're going to search for Java. And then pick JavaScript. Then we're going to browse to it. Like I said, I dumped it in the tasker folder. And there's the file. So we'll go ahead and click that. And then maybe lower that time out. I don't see why it has to be, be that high. Leave everything else the same, though, and click up at the top to get out. Now, one thing you do probably want to do is high, hold down on the, the, the task, task one, step one of the task, and then click down at the bottom there under the configuration and tell it to, to run both tasks together. That's in case premise is still processing the first voice command and you try to give it another one real quick. So that'll take care of that. And then click the checkbox and good to go. Now we can go ahead and test this puppy and see how it works. So notice I'm on Wi-Fi, right? So the Wi-Fi is what's being used here. And if you watch the video, well, you pretty much had to have watched 7.2 to get to here because the video 7.2 showed how to actually edit the script to put in your network information, your premise username and password for the user web user account we set up. So hopefully, you know, you really had to have watched the videos in order to get this thing to work. So I'm not going to repeat myself on, on all the little nuances. So we're going to go ahead and test this guy out. And we can't use the microphone while we're recording, guys. That kind of sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and stop this, actually. And, you know, I don't... I'm trying to think of an easy way. I'll go ahead and I'll do a quick video and combine them. And I'll just show them the, the computer desktop. That way you can see the changes occurring in premise, and then you can hear what I'm doing on my phone. But so when you actually use this thing though, you can click the little microphone or you can say, okay, Google. And if the screen capture program wasn't using the microphone, the little Google now thing would, window would come up and then you'd say your command like, such as turn on the master bedroom lights and it would just go do it. So I'm gonna stop this phone video I'm going to see if I can combine this with a desktop video. I think you can do that pretty easily without having to edit. I don't want to get into video editing. Got better stuff to do, so I'm going to hit stop.